gas fitters. Over here today we have a Bomber CD30. We're gonna modify it to catch big eye tuna. Now originally this lure comes with VMC hooks that are ideal for striped bass fishing. The split rings as well as the hook, they unfortunately can't hold up to the tension that a big eye, not really tension, but how do I put it, the pressure that a big eye would put on a lure. So we're gonna change out to these, I believe they're 5-0 treble hooks, 3X strength. These 250 pound Raptor barrel swivels. Um, not barrel swivels, I apologize, slit rings. All right, let's get going on this. So we're just gonna remove the old hardware by spinning off the old ring. This one wasn't really ready. Take that little tip and throw it over the end there. And all we're gonna do is roll it. There you go, that one's off. So now that we got the original hardware off, we're gonna replace it with these 503X Mustad treble hooks. The way we do that is we take the split ring pliers. Now just real quick, we have two different kinds here. You could really use either of them, but the way I like to do it is use the smaller ones to roll off the original hardware, and then you'll see why in a second we use the fatter ones, if you could tell there's a bigger lip. It's these big, these big uh, split rings here. You really have to put some pressure on them to get them open like that. And then the cool thing with this hook is it's welded together in a sense that we want a certain side up, but the company is nice enough to give us a little lip to show us where to put the ring. So we take it, we slip it right over, well, ideally right over, and then you're going to hear a little click sometimes when it's over it. There it is. That's why we like that big lip. And I'll switch over just to get in there. And we're gonna spin it on. I would roll it right onto the plug, but just for demonstration purposes, I'm gonna do it this way. So again, original hardware, I already started this one. I'm just gonna take it and roll it right off. Done. Repeating step number two, we're going to take the 250 split ring, open her up, same deal, the flat side of the hook, perfect, there it is, and wait for that, you could see it too, you could see when it rolls over onto it, but sometimes you just got to play with the distance, there it is, there's the click, nope, it'll fake you out sometimes. It's all right, we'll just go back a little bit more. And then once you hear that click, it's really anything you do to keep it on. And then there we go. All right. So right now we have two 5.0 Mustad treble hooks ready to go, and we're gonna put it on the Purple Crush CD30. And it's the same idea as taking them off, but we're kind of just doing it in reverse. We're opening up that split ring I'm rolling it onto the bait itself. Now the way we want this to sit is see those flat sides of the hook? They want to look towards each other purely because the strongest side of the hook is going to take the pressure from the fish. So it's going to look like that when it's rigged. The reasoning for that is, see this hook here? This is the only original one. These two are welded on. So naturally, this one has the mo most strength. I don't, I don't fear that this hook is going to break at all, but you just don't want to take any chances. So now we're going to get on that split ring. It's facing the way I want it to. We're going to use this guy for the front, actually. And open her up. Put it over the bait. Now, just roll it on. There's one. Same idea. Get that big lip. You know, again, this is the bigger plier, just a matter of preference. And this one is facing the way I want it to. I just put it on at a different angle because it's very important to keep this facing on the inside. We switch to the smaller gauge plier, roll her over, boom. And now just to finish this off, 
and I'm going to grab a rubber band. These hooks are extremely sharp. They will go right through the packaging, right through your skin. So at Pelagic, we like to take a piece of, take a rubber band, twist it up over the hooks, and have it sit like that. So if you can see, it's nice and contained. Those hooks are sitting flat in the bait, not damaging it and not damaging you. And real simple. We're gonna find the way it sits back in the box, adjusting for hook size. Close it up. And now we got a purple CD30 ready to go big eye fishing. Buy out in the shelf, and you know if you if you guys buy any of these from us, it wouldn't hurt. Just send us pictures with it, you know, with the bait in the fish's mouth. It's gonna be great. These things are killer. All right, so again, Chris from Pelagic. Check out my YouTube channel, Coastal Memories Fishing, and get out there and catch, guys. Have a good one.